Hi ho, this is Kermit the Frog here. Okay, people who are old enough will recognize that reference. People who are not won't, so don't worry about it. Uh, I was just outside a minute ago and I was recording your marketing lessons from Con Men uh, and uh, with Chico, the rescue pup, and it started raining. So now I am back in my reading room because I don't want to get rained on. Um, anyway, we could arguably call today's lesson uh, business lessons from con men rather than marketing lessons from con men. However, uh, tomato, tomato, right? We're going to talk today about the difference between the long con and the short con. The long con, L-O-N-G con, and the short con. Uh, the difference, as the name implies, is one takes a short period of time to, uh, uh, to enact, and the other one takes a long time to enact. So the short con would be Three Card Monty if you're walking down uh, City Street and you come across somebody playing Three Card Monty. In case you don't know what Three Card Monty is, it is a card game played with three cards, hence the name, and your job, well, it's supposed to be three, played with three cards. It's obviously generally played with more than three cards, although you're not supposed to know that. Um, the... Uh, uh, one of the cards is a normally a queen, maybe the queen of hearts, and your job is to keep an eye keep an eye on where the queen of hearts goes as the con man shuffles the cards, and then you pick it's like the shell game. Think about the shell game. Same thing, only it's played with cards. Uh, clearly, these guys obviously generally have uh, four or five cards, and picking the where the queen is, is next to impossible because the sleight of hand involved. In other words, you can't win the game. It's a con. But it's a short con. So you're walking down the street. Somebody says, hey, come on, you want to play? And maybe somebody wins, right? That person is a plant. So there's somebody puts some money on the table, puts a hundred bucks on the table. They play the card game. Hey, winner! He gets a hundred bucks. Yeah, I won a hundred bucks. Yay! I, you know, and then he, he he crows about it a minute, and then he goes on around the corner, and you go up and say, Hey, maybe it's a maybe it's an ethical three card Monty dealer. <laughs> it's like an ethical carny at the uh, carnival. Same kind of con. The carny at the carnival. The three card Monty guy on the street. Same kind of con. Um, the long con, on the other hand, is something that is that takes longer to enact, takes longer to get through, builds more trust with the prospect. Short cons can make $100, $50, $20 on a mark. The long con... Those are the guys who make ten thousand, twenty thousand, fifty thousand, a hundred thousand dollars on a mark from a mark. So the um, home stake oil swindle, long con. Bernie Madoff, long con. Uh, heck, even the original Ponzi scheme, long con. That was done by Mr. Ponzi himself, uh, long con. Now. The point is, when you're talking about your customer, when, when you're talking about your business, do you want to be looking for the short customer relationship or the long customer relationship? I hope you're looking for the long customer relationship because that's where you make real money. Anybody can sell a 50 cent bag of candy that tastes like Brussels sprouts with a nice pretty wrapper and a nice cartoon on the front and a lie about how the candy tastes. You can get 50 cents from somebody for your package of candy. However, you're never going to get any more money from them. You can get $5 from somebody for your crap info product. However, you're never going to get any more money from them, even $50. So how is it that the guys who are getting hundreds of thousands of dollars from each client or from certain clients or prospects, how does that happen? It happens because they're very good at the long game. And that's what we want to do. We want to focus on the long game. We want to focus on the long con, although we don't want to be con men. We want to use the techniques that the long con man uses 
in order to create the relationship with the mark. We just want to use those techniques to create relationships with customers who love us instead of want to kill us for stealing their money. They love us for bringing value to the relationship. Imagine, I keep saying it, I say it over and over, and I hope you don't get tired of it, but imagine if you can use the same techniques that somebody uses to hustle, to hustle a, a mark out of fifty or $100,000, if you can use those same techniques, those same rapport building tendencies, those same internal mechanics, only the difference is you're using them to benefit your client or customer or patient rather than take advantage of a mark. You bring value to the relationship. Imagine how much stronger that relationship is than it would be under normal circumstances. Imagine how much stronger your relationship with customers, clients, or patients are. I, I mean, do you think you're going to have a convenience store relationship? A convenience store relationship meaning that the, the, the customer stops at whatever convenience store, number one comes up first, number two on their side of the road, right? So it, it, it's too much, it's too much inconvenience to drive an extra two blocks, and it's too much of an inconvenience to go to the other side of the road. So there's absolutely no loyalty there at all. Now, compare and contrast that to the bond or to the relationship that a top level, the really fantastic info marketer, or you know what, forget about info marketing. Let's, uh, let's compare and contrast that to the power of the relationship to of Coke drinkers or the power of the relationship of Ford drivers as opposed to GM drivers or Coke drinkers as opposed to Pepsi drinkers. Think about that kind of relationship that person has with the brand compared to the kind of relationship that a regular consumer has with the convenience store. You don't want a convenience store relationship. You want that Coca-Cola relationship. You want that Ford truck relationship. That's the kind of relationship that you get when you use the same external and internal techniques that con men use to create relationships with their mark, only you're using them not to take advantage of the mark, but to bring value for the money that the customer, client, or patient gives you. So that's enough for today. Gee, seven and a half minutes. All right, a little longer than normal. Hope you guys found it valuable. And until next time, cheers.